What's up guys, Luis here and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about the VA loan and how to use it twice in the same city. So a lot of people don't know that you can actually use it twice in the same city. A lot of people are aware that you can use it twice, but usually what the common belief is that you can only use it when you move or when you PCS. So when you PCS, you go from one base to a different base. So hypothetically, you're gonna go from the East Coast to the West Coast, and that's a huge move. So you can use the VA loan again because you know, you're know you forced to move. But a lot of people are not aware that you can actually use it twice in the same city. There is some criteria that you need to meet before you can do this, and we're gonna be going over that in depth. But before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Would really appreciate it, and it's really gonna help me out. And let's get started. All right, so first of all, we're gonna go over initial criteria. So obviously you still have to meet the requirements to get the loan. So you still have to be able to qualify for the loan through your debt to income, through your credit and all those factors. Just because you qualified for the first one doesn't mean you're going to qualify for the second one because your DTI is going to be affected from the first one. And usually they can kind of cancel it out because they are going to be assuming that you're going to rent the first property out, but you can't count any income for usually two years after because you need landlord history. So they usually just cancel it out. And if you do have a contract with the property management company, they will sometimes take that. That's something you need to ask your lender directly and every lender is different. So just make sure you talk to different lenders and see what their requirements are with using income from the initial VA loan and trying to use that as a rental property. So once you actually qualify for a second VA loan, you have to make sure that you have entitlement remaining. So what exactly does that mean? So entitlement is pretty much how much VA loan you can use. The average for the United States right now is $548,000. So hypothetically, if your first VA loan is a $200,000 property, um, that's gonna leave you with $248,000 in entitlement. Say you find a house that's $260,000 and you only have $248,000 in, in entitlement left and still use that entitlement, you just have to come up with the difference of that 248 and the 260 in order to qualify for that loan. And so that entitlement that we did mention, the $548,000 is just the US average, but if you do live somewhere that's more expensive to live, 99% of the time, the VA loan will be adjusted for that rate. So for example, in Los Angeles right now, that entitlement is closer to $820,000 compared to the average of $548,000, which is a huge bump up, but that's because it is a lot more expensive to live there. So the second requirement is that the property has to be at a minimum $144,000. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's just one of the rules. It's just the minimum that the next property has to be in order to qualify for that second VA loan. So you can't just go buy a $60,000 condo with that VA loan because you have to have $144,000 minimum on that next purchase. And the third one, and this is the reason that you can use it in the same city more than once, is that you need a compelling reason. And compelling reason can kind of be subjective. It can be anything from you having a kid and your family is growing. You may have gotten a job on a different part of base and now you need to com now your commute is different or you just need a bigger house in general for X reason. As long as you have some sort of compelling reason, you can do it. And again, talk to your lenders directly. They're, they'll tell you if your reason is compelling enough. And, and if you find the right lender, they'll tell you what compelling reason to use. I didn't do that, but I'm just saying. I am in the middle right now of using a second VA loan. So that's kind of why I decided to make this video. I have been in this house now for like seven or eight months and am going to be using my second VA loan in the same city. I'm not going anywhere and I'm just going to be moving like two zip codes over and I'm going to be keeping this as a rental. And the last reason, which I think is pretty obvious, but I'm going to say it anyways, is you have to have intent of moving into said property. You can't say I'm going to use my second VA loan and then just not move into that property and stay where you're currently living at. If you do use a VA loan again in the same city, you have to have the intent of moving into the property because if you do not, that's technically mortgage fraud and you can get in a lot of trouble for that. So just don't do that. Or if you do do that, I would just be very smart about that. Don't do it. So if you are eligible for a VA loan, make sure you guys take full advantage of it. And if you can move two or three times in the same city while you're stationed there, do it. Just pack light when you do move. Don't accumulate a bunch of stuff and be ready to move to that next property. That way you can accumulate three properties before you go on to the next duty station. And then, and then those are essentially just piggy banks. You hand them off to a property management company. You essentially do nothing. Yes, you have to you know, have money for expenses and repairs and things of that nature but you essentially just got three properties, three investment properties that weren't meant to be investment properties that are now gonna be your little piggy banks and they're gonna you know, appreciate, you're gonna get some cash flow out of them 
and you got them offered pretty much 0% down. So I feel like nobody really takes advantage of the VA loan as much as they can. So if I were you and I did have a VA loan eligibility, I would definitely take advantage of it to the fullest. But with that being said, guys, you guys already know, quit the slag and make it happen. If you guys got any questions, go ahead and drop it down in the comments. Um, make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next time.